It's Umsum time! What if pancakes disappeared? No problem. Put cake on a pan and you get a pancake. Oh, <laughs> Umsum. To buy Umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> Firstly, if pancakes disappeared, huh? people who love to eat pancakes every day may go on a hunger strike. <laughs> Secondly, if pancakes disappeared, parents may face a hard time convincing their children to eat a different dish. <laughs> Thirdly, if pancakes disappeared, huh? sale of popular pancake toppings like maple syrup, chocolate syrup, etc. <laughs> might go down sharply. Uh -huh. hmm. Fourthly, if pancakes disappeared, restaurants selling only pancakes would have to completely change their menu. Hmm. Fifthly, if pancakes disappeared, popularity of waffles might skyrocket. Hmm. Lastly, some people love to eat very sugary pancakes. If pancakes disappeared, these people might actually see their weight <laughs> drop. Hmm. What if fruits disappeared? Oh. No problem. I have my cakes and ice creams. Oh, <laughs> humsum. Firstly, if fruits disappeared, health-conscious people may lose huh? an extremely important part of their diet. Mm. Secondly, fruits are important sources of many essential nutrients. If fruits disappeared, people may huh? start getting nutritionally deficient, which may ah! lead to health problems. Mm. Thirdly, parrots as well as monkeys are frugivores, as in fruit is their preferred food type. If fruits huh? disappeared, they will be mightily disappointed. Mm. Fourthly, fruit juices, fresh as well as packaged, have become extremely popular worldwide. Mm. If fruits disappeared, the fruit juice industry may have to shut down. Fifthly, in fruit farming, farmers cultivate fruit crops mainly for commercial purposes. Mm. If fruits disappeared, huh? fruit farms will close down worldwide. Mm. Lastly, many chefs include fruits in their favorite recipes. Mm. If fruits disappeared, huh? chefs will have a tough job on their hands. Mm. What if we only oh. eat fruits? No problemo. You eat all the fruits, I will eat all the burgers. Oh, um some. Huh? <laughs> fruits are a major source of potassium, dietary fiber, vitamin C, and folate. Potassium helps in maintaining healthy blood pressure, ah. thus reducing chances of a stroke. Dietary fiber helps in relieving constipation and reducing blood <laughs> cholesterol levels, thus lowering the risk of heart diseases. Vitamin C is responsible for the growth and repair of body tissues. Folate is vital in the formation of red blood cells. Now, on the flip side, as fruits contain high sugar content, they may prove to be harmful to diabetic patients. Also, eating a lot of them may lead to weight gain and tooth decay. Lastly, relying only on fruits may lead to nutritional deficiencies, which may further lead to immune system dysfunction. Hmm. Hmm. Are fruit juices unhealthy? Duh! That's why I have chocolate milkshakes. Compared to fruits, Fruit juices are unhealthy as they are devoid of the fruit's fiber. Fruit's fibrous content slows down absorption of its fructose in bloodstream, preventing unnecessary spikes in our insulin. As juice doesn't have fiber, it results in fast absorption of the juice's fructose, causing sudden spikes in insulin. Over time, this can lead to type 2 diabetes. Now, one glass of orange juice contains at least eight oranges. Instead of drinking juice, if we decide to eat oranges, it is impossible to eat more than two or three. Thus, we consume more calories. Also, our brain doesn't get the same feeling of fullness on drinking that it gets on eating. We feel hungrier sooner, thus leading to overconsumption. Note that, Packaged fruit juices are definitely unhealthy as they are prepared by keeping fresh fruit juices in oxygen-depleted environments for a year, and chemicals are also added to enhance their flavor. How do miracle fruits work? By performing miracles! <laughs> nah. <laughs>
Oh. Miracle fruit is a red <laughs> berry also known as Incepalum dulcificum. The fantastic quality about this berry is oh. that after eating it, acidic foods which should be sour taste sweet. The secret behind this mm -hmm. is a protein called miraculin found in these fruits. Ah. However, experts aren't sure how miraculin actually works. But there are three popular theories. First theory states that miraculin temporarily suppresses oh. sour taste receptors. Hence, when we eat acidic foods, they don't taste sour. Mm. Second theory states that miraculin rewires the sweet receptors such that they begin to identify acids as sugars, thus making sour foods oh. taste sweet. Whereas third theory states that acids cause miraculin to change its shape, causing it to bind to the sweet receptors more strongly and thus making them overactivated, oh. producing a sweet taste. <laughs> what happens when you stop being vegetarian? Easy peasy. We become the king of the jungle. Oh, I'm some. Firstly, if we don't produce enough stomach acid or digestive enzymes, then breaking down of proteins in meat will be difficult, hmm. which will result in huh? bloating and constipation. Ah. Hmm. Secondly, one might see less blood sugar spikes as meat is generally lower on the glycemic index. Hmm. Thirdly, a study shows that after consuming meat, our gut microbes change rapidly. Hmm. A single meat-heavy diet can lead to the growth of bile-tolerant microorganisms like Bilophilia wadsworthia to grow. This is not good news for our gut. Hmm. Fourthly, experts believe that eating meat leads to the production of an organic compound like TMAO. TMAO huh? is associated with heart and vascular disease. Hmm. Lastly, experts believe that eating meat might reduce zinc deficiency and also increase our energy level. How does water get inside a coconut? Simple. I put it inside using magic. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Firstly, roots of the coconut plant absorb water from the soil by a process called osmosis. This water is then transported to different parts of the coconut plant. Some of it reaches the coconut. The liquid, which eventually reaches the coconut, is referred to as the endosperm. This endosperm acts as the food or nourishment for the coconut's growth. Now, a part of the endosperm gets converted into a creamy tissue and gets deposited on the coconut's inner surface. Over a period of time, this creamy tissue turns hard and the remaining endosperm ends up as coconut water. So this is how water ends up inside a coconut. Topic: Osmosis. How do fish drink water? That's easy. Using a straw. No. Fish take in water usually through their mouth or gills depending on whether they live in fresh water or salt water. <laughs> fresh water fish takes in water mainly through its gills. But why? Because it has less water and more salt concentration in its blood than the surrounding water. <laughs> Hence, due to osmosis, water from the surrounding flows through the gills into its bloodstream. Hmm. However, as the fish is continuously taking in water, it <laughs> urinates a lot and removes excess water. Huh? Saltwater fish takes in water through its mouth. Oh, really? This is because its blood has more water and less salt concentration than the salt water around it. <laughs> Hence, to maintain the balance, the fish gulps salt water through its mouth filters the water huh? for its use, and expels excess salt while urinating. Mm. How much water should you drink per day? Hmm. 68.273564981 liters. Now, <laughs> up to 60% of the human adult body is water. But every day, we lose some of this water through sweat, urine, etc. So we need to replenish it. Now, there's a popular 8x8 rule which says every day one should drink 8 glasses, each containing 8 ounces of water. Whereas, the Institute of Medicine suggests that the total water intake, <laughs> including all beverages and food, should be 2.7 liters for women and 3.7 liters for men. However, no single formula fits everyone, but our amazing body itself tells us when we need water. For example, 
dark yellow urine is usually a very good sign of dehydration. Mm -hmm. Exercise, climate, and conditions like diarrhea, vomiting, etc. can lead to additional water loss. So, our body makes us feel more thirsty. This brings us to the conclusion that the water needs vary from person to person and situation to situation. 